Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer and uh, Fusion for 60. This is a, a, a truncated IC, a, a cozy dodecahedron, a strange name. Uh, we can see it, we have uh, decagon faces, we have square faces, we have hexagon faces. And you can look at it from top, you can see you see six of these large uh, decagon faces. And of course six on the other side, so it's a total of 12. So the base geometry is a dodecahedron and that's going to use when you design it. This is what is known as a truncated IC dodecahedron. But if we have a look at the Wikipedia page, you can see it over here. Uh, but the name is, is like the same Wikipedia page, slightly misleading. This is a IC, a cozy dodecahedron. So this is the base uh, which is, that is truncated. But if you do truncation of this, cutting off the vertexes, the blue one here, you end up with rectangular faces. And that is not what we want. So we're going to start with the dodecahedron. Do all, the, do all the cuts and then end up with this shape, or should we say, this shape here. So with that said, let's start a new design. Uh, some of the sketching here might be quite confusing. I will not explain all the geometry, where it comes from, something I will show you how I do it. If you want to dig into it, uh, feel free to do that. It can be quite uh, confusing. Sketching from the front, we're looking from the front. We're going to start with, I'm going to turn on construction geometry because I don't want the profiles for now. Polygon, circumscribe polygon, move it out, tab over and type in 5 because the dodecahedron has a pentagon face. We're going to make this horizontal here, zoom out a bit. We're going to do hit, hit L on the keyboard to do some lines starting from here, out to here. We go up, we go over and we go down to here. Add a constraint for a perpendicular here. L for one more line from here and straight up. Now this looks like what's going on here and I will not explain everything. This sketch here is to establish where the face of a dodecahedron is distance from the center of the dodecahedron. This is how I like to do it. There are other ways. But now need to add some constraints. Step number one equal between this here and here. This of course makes uh, this shape here into a large square. The second thing we want to do, we're going to do midpoint between this edge of a, of a polygon, of a pentagon, here and this baseline here. So these are intersection in the midpoint to each other. And the last thing is I like to have my uh, design centered around the origin point. So we're going to do a midpoint between this line and the origin point. This will lock down the design around the midpoint. Down here, we're going to have the face of the uh, dodecahedron. And this is going to be the center up here. And by doing this, I can basically just change the, the dimension here and the model should follow along. So I'm going to add a dimension. And we're going to dimension the center line here. And I'm going to do it, let's do it 100 millimeter first now, like that. So this sketch is just creating geometry to know where we're going to place the pentagon face or dodecahedron. We're going to finish sketch, create offset plane up here, off this plane here, that's the top plane, distance, no, 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 to object, select a, a new point here or any of these points that's on the same plane, so we're going to do this. We're going to create a sketch of this plane, P for project, you're going to turn around the, the sketch or slightly looking at the sketch slightly from the side and I'm going to tap this point out here, that's the one I want. I'm going to create, oops sorry, create polygon. Make sure it's in normal lines and here of course tab over five sides, coincident, one vertex and this point here. So now you can see why I did the pentagon earlier here, it's a representation of this face here. So by doing this, I done the geometry I need to create the dodecahedron. I'm going to finish, hit S on the keyboard, type in a loft, the blue one, the solid one, from here up to here, and do OK. This, I'm going to open up my browser, I can see things, fully defined sketches, one body and one construction plane. And this is the, uh, this is one face of dodecahedron, this is the center point. So with this and some circular patterns, you can make a dodecahedron. But now, we're going to hide our sketches. We're going to create a new sketch, create new sketch of this plane once again from the front. We're going to do some projections. I'm going to project in this point here and this point here. I'm not projecting the edges because they can get a bit confusing. 
sometimes you get uh, double edges like in this case you know, turn around you can say this is a flat face if you do a projection here sometimes you get double sketch lines and that can sometimes wreck a sketch so let's hide the body we're going to do some lines and do the construction lines we're going to connect the points we have for now like that and of course we turn on the body you can see if we look from the front the sketch I've done is basically the projection of this geometry. This is how I like to do it. There are other ways to do it. But now we're going to do sketching of all the faces. So we have a decagon face, square face, and hexagon face. So let's start with the decagon face, the ten sided face. We're going to make sure it's a construction geometry. I'm going to tab over until it has ten sides, like that. We're going to make it coincident between this here and here so we are locked down to this line is sideways here we're going to tell fusion that we want uh can use perpendicular or horizontal i'm going to do a horizontal today on this here that's the way we want it and we can also tell fusion we want this center of this here to be straight down from this we can use a horizontal vertical constraint from our region point down to the center of a polygon so now the polygon always has one degree of freedom and that's the size so that's good Step one. The second one we're going to make is create polygon, circumscribe polygon. We're going to make sure this is now not a construction aid. I want normal tab over four. We're going to make the square one. I'm going to make a line that's from midpoint to midpoint. This represents the face we're going to get later. So I'm going to do some things now. Coincident. This here to here. And here's the portent. Make it perpendicular. If we don't do this, uh, it's still going to fully define the sketch, but it's important, important is it perpendicular because we do the cut on different bodies. And by adding this dimension here, Fusion makes all the faces creating uh, flat to each other and not some strange angles. And so that's, that's why I do it uh, coincident and perpendicular. And the last one, coincident, fall of edge to this point here. And we want is this point to be connected to the midpoint of this here and you have no midpoint constraints so you hold down shift and find the midpoint like that and then we do the hexagon create polygon circumscribe and it starts like a hexagon so thank you no dimension once again we do a line representing the straight face through the hexagon like that make a coincident constraint between midpoint of polygon and here perpendicular constraint between the face and this line and one more coincident constraint between here hold down shift and find the midpoint of this like that so everything is good now the last thing we want to do is make sure that all edges get the same size and the best thing to do is it use equal we select this edge and this here and wait for fusion to think for a while and we get a fully defined sketch. You do not need to make the hexagon equal to this. Everything will lock down itself through geometry. So that's nice. So we say thank you and do finish sketch. Open up a body and have a look. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do some cutting. So we're going to hit E on the keyboard for extrude. Select this part of the profile and this house. So we select the outer uh, parts of the profiles. And we're going to do it symmetric and simply tell Fusion extend type is all. And that makes Fusion is cutting away. So it's cutting away the vertex with the hexagon face here. And it's cutting away the edge with the square over here. So we said OK. I'm going to hide the sketch. So we are done some cutting here. And now we need to move that around to all the rest of the parts here. So we're going to S, circular pattern make sure we change this, this is set to type to features we do do the cut axis gonna be the blue one here the one that goes straight down for the body and we have as we know uh, it's only popped up to five because we have five edges and five vertexes so it's five times when you and compute options adjust so it can do redo all the cuts like that and we have basically done most of the body so what we're going to do now we're going to start doing some circular pattern S circular pattern. In this case, we're going to do it of bodies. This body here. And the axis now we can select any edge of this body here that goes up to the region point here. That's a center line. 
So you do this and it pops up too many. If I only three of them. But the thing is, I need to spread out more. Am I going to duplicate bodies? I'm going to do a suppress here and remove one of the bodies. Either one you want. Hit OK. And do S circular body. A circular pattern of bodies. Sorry. That one. We're going to do the blue one. And this time is going to be five. Hit OK. And if we have a look now, we have done six parts. Five around the middle. So we've done half of the body. So one more S for a circular pattern. Circular pattern. Bodies. Yes. I'll select them in the browser. You can select them how you want. Select all six bodies and axes. Here is a bit important. You need, may, might need to rotate around and have a look. You do not want to use the axis here, the red one that's aligned with an edge of one of the bodies. You want to have a look at the axis that is in, uh, it's basically symmetrically between two edges here. So we select this one here. And of course, this time we need two because we've done half of it. Okay. And we've got some strange faces here. So we just window select all the bodies and do a combine and hit OK. And by doing that, we have now created our trinket at Ico C Dodecohedon. We can do some inspections. Just to check, uh, let's take like two edges here, and they are 14.5309, 14.5309, they are the same size. That was the desired. And uh, we can also have a look down here like, like that, to include uh, made almost same faces. 14.5309, 14, so yes. So this is, to my knowledge, uh, a correct model of a truncated icosi dodecahedron. And of course, I hope this works now. Uh, show dimensions. We're driving, we're driving it with this 100 meter dimension here. Move it out. Let's see. So you want a bigger one, as always. 200. And the model updates correctly. So we have a truncated icosi dodecahedron driven by one dimension, using geometry to solve it. I have a sketch for now. So, with that said, I hope you can have some, have some use of this for some fun things or just play around with stupid things like I do. Take care, have a good weekend, and see you around. Goodbye.